when was the last time that you took a flight? And can you remember the reason of your last flight? In my case, it was about a month ago. And the reason for it was love, as I came back to Bristol after spending a couple of weeks back home in Italy with my girlfriend. Flying is one of the most carbon-intensive human activities. And in recent years, there has been a mounting pressure to decarbonize the aviation sector and make it more sustainable. The question is, how can we do that? As an aerospace engineer, I can tell you that one approach that has been there in the past and will always be there in the future is to make airplanes lighter. The lighter the airplane, the less energy you need to fly it. Now, whatever technology we use to make airplanes lighter, we must ensure that they always maintain their physical integrity. Or in other words, that they do not break or stop functioning in the way that we expect. One of the phenomena that we want to avoid on airplanes is buckling. And this may sound like a complicated word, but actually it is something very simple to understand. If you take your credit card, place it between your fingers and start pushing from both sides, you will observe that soon the credit card will change its shape from straight to curved. That's buckling. It is a change of shape that occurs to an object when subjected to some kind of squeezing force. When you fly on an airplane, there is a lifting force that keeps the airplane up in the air. At the same time, this lifting force bends the wing upwards. As the wing bends upwards, the upper surface is subjected to a squeezing force. And if the bending gets beyond a certain extent, then the upper surface can buckle, like your credit card, assuming a similar shape to that in the center of the slide. The current aerospace engineering methodologies to predict the phenomenon of buckling are very conservative meaning that they require us to overly reinforce the structure of an airplane to avoid buckling, adding a large amount of weight. This conservatism acts as a kind of engineering glass ceiling. In fact, in my PhD, I'm claiming that uh, the current methodologies place a needlessly restrictive limit on the maximum weight reduction that we can achieve when designing a new airplane. With my research, I'm challenging the status quo of these methodologies by exploring the use of more advanced buckling prediction methods that allow us to reduce the weight of the airplane, still keeping it safe. My final goal is to break the glass ceiling of buckling and in this way enable the design of lighter airplanes so that in the future we can all fly more sustainably, whatever the reason of your future flights might be. Be it for a holiday, to visit a friend, or for love, like it is often for me. Thank you.